this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot on your Gigabyte motherboard. So I'm using Windows 11 right now, or you can do this on Windows 10. But let's go to Settings right here. Go on down to where it says Windows Update. Go to the right and go to Advanced Options. Then scroll on down to Recovery. Then go to Advanced Startup. Restart now. And this will launch us into a blue screen where we can go into the BIOS menu without having to restart a computer and hit delete to F12, F9, something like that. And it's a lot easier. All right, and then it's going to bring me to this screen where it says, please wait. And you can see the button is to launch into the BIOS menu. You can press like delete or something like that. Uh, but this screen is going to load into a blue screen now. And then we want to go to the troubleshoot option, advanced. UEFI firmware settings and now go to restart and it will launch into the BIOS menu without having to press any F keys or anything like that. All right, so here we are under Gigabyte. So to enable secure boot, let's go on over to BIOS and you have to go to this option for CSM support and you need to disable this. If you have this enabled, secure boot won't be an option down here, so disable it. Then go to save and exit and restart your computer into the BIOS menu one more time. And the next time you come in here, Secure Boot will be listed down here. Just select it and go to Enable for Secure Boot. Then for TPM 2.0, let's go to Peripherals and go to Trusted Computing 2.0. Select this and you can see it was found right here, Device Found. Uh, just make sure Security Device Support is enabled right here. And then we should be good to go with Secure Boot and trusted computing, go to save and exit, save and exit, and then restart your computer and you should be good to go now. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below.